Why is team building important? It's a great question. And my guess is you're here for one of two reasons. One, you're doing some research to learn more about what team building is. Or two, you've got a team that perhaps is not that productive and you're wondering if team building is for you. You can expect three things in this video. One, I'm gonna define exactly what team building is and is not. Two, I'm gonna give you three critical reasons why team building is important. And three, I'm going to give you tons and tons of statistics and research and links that will make it abundantly clear that team building is not only good for your team, but is absolutely fundamentally connected to their success. First things first, what is team building? Now, when you think of the words team building, what images and thoughts come to mind? Oof. If you just winced or groaned, I get it. I've been there too, but it doesn't have to be that way. I don't know what your experience with team building is, but it has to be more than just an annual dinner out with your team. Or it might look like a series of goofy, goofy activities at a retreat that you spend a weekend away with your colleagues. And it's just got to be more enjoyable than that annual golf day that your group goes out on. Now, don't get me wrong. All of these can be fun experiences, but let's be clear here. Let's distinguish those perhaps fun experiences from actual team building. Here's a great example. I once worked with a client that had this new project team pulled together from different parts of their organization and they needed to fast track their relationships so they could hit the ground running and then you know, really start to make that project work. And their initial ideas for team building was to hold a lunchtime barbecue and then play a cricket match. But when we started talking about what was actually going to work, they came to realize that like most humans as comfort seeking machines, most of those people are just gonna wanna be with their friends or people they like or are like. And indeed, that probably wasn't gonna achieve their objectives of building team. Now, what they actually did is engaged me for a two-day program of carefully sequenced activities that engage the group for the purpose of team building. And there are two reasons why it was spectacularly successful. Here's the formal meaning in the Oxford Dictionary of what team building is. The action or process of causing a group of people to work together effectively as a team, especially by means of activities and events designed to increase motivation and promote cooperation. Are you still with me? <laughs> or did you fall asleep? Hey, in my experience, this is actually what team building is. Any experience that intentionally engages a group to interact, share, and build trust. Now, the two most important words of my understanding of team building are any experience and intentionality. Why? Because the research is really clear on this point. And if you're interested to learn more about where any of the research I speak of in this video, check the notes below this video for links. But the research shows that the most successful programs in the world are those which intentionally build healthy and trusting relationships from the beginning. Now let's break that down a little bit. First of all, the most successful programs in the world, that speaks to culture and well-being. We're not talking make the most money or the greatest academic performance. They are, they are defining success of that group in terms of its culture and its well-being. So the most successful programs in the world are those which intentionally, the key is intention. If your understanding of team building is throwing a group of people together and just have them do stuff together, that that's gonna build trust, bonk, bonk, good luck, that doesn't happen. So the most successful programs in the world are those which intentionally build trusting and healthy uh, relationships from the beginning. Now, you might be in the middle of a project or your work, your work group has been together for some time. That doesn't mean you should just give up because the research says you need to start from the beginning. Anything you do that invests in building the relationships of your group should be considered team building. So this research sort of dove deeply to understand what were the three critical benefits of any team building experience. And remember, it was about the interaction and sharing and building trust. That intentionality is considered to be team building, not a cricket match or a barbecue or a dinner out or a golf day. It's the intentionality of inviting that interaction 
And that, of course, invites opportunities to share and build trust. And these were the three critical benefits this research has shown. One, higher levels of participation. So think in terms of productivity and lower absenteeism. Two, stronger relationships. So think in terms of the satisfaction of your group, your team, your staff, your students, but also fewer issues to manage from a personnel perspective. And three, higher levels of performance, which in the case of a business might be productivity or profitability. But if you're an educational institution, then higher levels of performance might be represented in terms of academic results. Now, I kind of got this idea 35 years ago when I started as an experiential educator that anecdotally, these were the results I was seeing with the groups that I was working with. But the benefit of today is that we have so much research and science to back up that gut feeling that team building actually does work that I'm now gonna to present to you a whole bunch of research and statistics that will help bed that down. From the Harvard Business Review, employees at companies with high trust report 74% less stress and 13% fewer sick days, 106% more energy and 50% higher productivity. 76% more engagement and 40% less burnout. In another study, they found that millennials prioritize people and culture fit above everything else. In fact, 15% of job seekers declined offers from companies because of poor company culture. The research company McKinsey in 2020 said 75% of survey participants said that the most stressful aspect of their job was their immediate boss. The giant research and analytics company Gallup reports that highly engaged business units see a 41% reduction in absenteeism and achieve 59% less employee turnover. And a highly engaged workforce has a 21% higher profitability. And this is just a very small sample of the research and statistics out there that provide really solid reasons why team building is important. So if you're interested in learning more, check out the notes below and there are a bunch of links that will take you to more of this research so that you can learn some more details. So, got the itch to do some team building? Go to playmeo.com forward slash activities and select team building from the drop down list to, to open up hundreds of different activities that will invite your group to engage, interact, share and trust. And if you're looking just for dedicated team building activities, there's at least a hundred of them that will keep you busy for days and days and days. Finally, if you took away some useful ideas or resonated with any part of what we just shared in this video, I invite you to like the video down, down below. Or if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. So that way you will always be informed when we release our latest content uh, to our channel. And um, as we get towards the end screens, click on the next video if you're looking for some more content that will help you from a team building perspective. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and have fun out there.